My area of research is insect pest management uh, with a focus on integrated pest management, looking at softer options for growers and their agronomists to implement uh, as far as their pest management goes. The key findings that we've um, been speaking about in relation to rather gland bug is primarily the difficulties that agronomists have had in controlling and growers have had in controlling in the last couple of seasons and managing those really large populations that we've had and so some of the work that we've done has shown that products that they are using quite commonly are not as effective as they could be because they just don't have the residual that's really important in a high population uh, persistent infestation situation so uh, I guess what we have been talking about is options for not only in terms of application but also in terms of their product selection to get a much better result in those particular situations. So changing the product that you might use in order to get some residual efficacy, which means that uh, you have a much higher chance of, of killing those rather gland bugs that are in hidden, hidden places or moving up and down the plant when you put that product on. I think as far as rather gland bug goes, we're very interested in the management of rather gland bug populations that build up in canola and then come out of the canola stubbles into adjacent summer crop and the damage that it does there. So we're working with the Northern Grower Alliance to look at some uh, options to, to either limit or mitigate the impact uh, of rather gland bug in those situations. Uh, we're also interested in um, rather gland bug impact on canola itself. It's not a pest that uh, is now recommended to be controlled in the standing crop, but we think that there is actually some, um, some need to have a look at that aspect of it.